Hey, 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 good day, guys. We're just waiting on Chris Palmer. He's going to be coming in any minute now. This is going to be our weekly Q&A session with myself, William Jones, and Chris Palmer going all things Google My Business or Google Maps SEO. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them in on the group. Okay. You're going to want to drop them in on the group. If you don't know what group I'm talking about, I'm talking about the biggest group on Facebook regarding Google Maps SEO, which is Google My Business SEO Help Group and Local SEO, right? Go through here, drop some questions, you know, make sure you give StreamYard permission to post your comments and everything, and we'll make sure we try to get to them as soon as possible and answer any questions you may have regarding Google My Business SEO. While we're waiting on Chris to drop in here, we could go ahead and wait. We can also get started. But So if you have questions, just make sure to drop them in here. Um, we go through here probably once a week and we'll answer questions. It could be Google My Business, SEO, Black Hat, CTR manipulation, whatever it may be, we'll answer those questions for you. Um, let me go through here. Once again, any questions you may have, just let me know and we will answer them. Okay. Cause that's what we're here for. Hey, Jeffrey, what's up brother? Jeffrey's a good friend of mine lives in Manila. He's been doing oh marketing, I believe for about 50 years or so. He's 70 plus years old, lives in Manila. Just waiting on Chris. He had a power outage, outage earlier today, so he'll be in here any minute. But let's go through here, see if we got any questions, because we get tons and tons and tons of questions. We did do an update on our schema plugin um, this week, too. So anybody, if you know about it, we did an update on it, which was hosting permissions bug fix, getting started button working now. New features, we validated Wikipedia entity information. Um, validate, you know, button on the right of the Wikipedia entity, your save draft, bunch of updates. Now we're working on getting the location page bugs worked out. There's my boy, Kevin. All right, let's see here. Got some testimonials been coming through. My day's been crazy. I had about 15 calls yesterday, about another 12 or 13 today. Sign up some new clients. So it's always great. Make sure we're live and good. Make sure y'all can hear me. Can you hear me, Jeffrey? I'm pretty sure I can. I checked it out earlier, but pretty sure. Let's see here. We should be good. Yep, everybody's good. So all right. Tomorrow we will be going over YouTube and I'm letting everybody in on my secret who I've been using and stuff um, to do a lot of my YouTube and power up my YouTubes. And it's not what some people may think, but it's actually someone else. So let me go ahead. Don't give up the secret, William. No, no. Yeah, I'm not giving up the secret. <laughs> don't do it. See, you don't want me to do it. No, man, because no, you can't. Don't do that. No, you, I ain't you, giving the secret. Bro. It's good to give away a lot of stuff. A but, little honest stuff, but not everything. But dude, how you're crushing, how you're stomping on these guys' necks for these keywords. I don't know how I would give that up, dude. <laughs> That's yeah, why he's, I, he, yeah, he, yeah. he posted earlier. He's like, he stole, he stole my course. And this and I'm like, if these dudes actually knew. I'm almost scared to tell them because if I show you, if I showed you, let's say my uh, my micro workers account, I'm not using micro workers. I use very, very little micro workers. I'm mainly using another method. But All right, give up the tapes. No, no, no. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you after the fact. You're probably about the only person I would tell. Um, but yeah, it's not micro workers. I use. I've probably sent, let's say, on micro workers, I've probably sent maybe 600 views. 
Oh, six via months. micro workers. That's about it. The rest of it's through stuff that you already know about, brother. You I've know about me. I've been getting a lot of, um, I even had two like consultation sessions regarding, I don't know if there's a buzz going out there of people thinking like sending, well, you know, like uh, backlinks to videos. Mm -hmm. I'm like, um, man, I, I, you know, I've gotten two people asking and I'm like, dude, I don't, I was like, I don't know, man, maybe organic, but I don't know about mm -hmm. here. <laughs> I'll talk to you about it. Mm. But, um, interesting. You already know. I mean, one, which you do already is in beds. Yeah. That's, that's been that's working forever and let other that's... people promote, find <laughs> the hashtags that are getting, that are getting picked up by the scrapers and mm -hmm. have all these sites. Yep. Use those hashtags. Yep. <laughs> that for sure. Um, yep. And then dump in traffic from, you know, it depends. I wouldn't do it on my normal channel because it'll, it'll, it'll hurt the metrics and it'll hurt me for upcoming videos. Yep. But on other channels for like a client, perhaps if I'm trying to get a push, um, I will use a panel for sure. <laughs> Mr. Adam Poland, afternoon chaps. I was just in the group telling them if they got questions, drop it in on the group because we're going through that too. But I kind of try to do what you do sometimes, go through the group and answer questions and stuff. Mm. So you didn't go on vacation this week? You didn't go to Poconos? No, no. It's 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 this week coming up. Uh, okay. Like this, I'm thinking this, I'm like, you went to Poconos, bro. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm gonna be, I'll be in the Poconos. I might take off. Um, I'm, I'm not might. I'm going to because we're going to be gone a week. And then right after that, it'll be NFG. And then right after that, it'll be Rockstar. So it'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. I wish, man. I knew, new, I knew NFG's coming up. And I was like, man, this is where <laughs> I'm like, I want to build travel to the States. But the problem is it's until this whole thing's over with. If I go to the States, can I come back? You know, will they shut it down? They can shut it down any minute. So, Well, getting stuck in Vegas wouldn't be too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Not with my bad habits. I used to gamble all the time. So there you, know. you go, man. Yeah. But this can so, is actually green. Quite interesting. Yeah. You got me on them now again. I got a, cases of them. You got to get on, man. <laughs> so, like, my wife said, why did you buy that shit? I said, it's healthy. It's vitamins. It's caffeine and vitamins. It does Please. look healthy. When you're reading it, you're like, yeah. But then it's like, oh, 300 milligrams of caffeine per serving. There's two and a half servings. Hey, that's all right. Well, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, no <laughs> big deal. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. Get y'all's questions in here. Start dropping, man. We got a, you know, quite a few people already in here. Um, but we're going to be getting some more coming in. I'm just going through my group, see what type of questions we got. So what's new with you? How did um, everything work out so far? How's everything been going? <laughs> yeah, same old, same old. Did that float you know. around to you yet? Did you see what what we were working with? Did you like that? Did you like that little technique? Yep, I love it. And Pretty then slick, huh? uh, we've been getting some more uh, people wanting to sign up for your, uh, you know, the um, class too that you did too with the reputation management. Yeah. You know, so. Do they like it? Are they feeling it? Do they no, they love it. That's what I said. Generally, what happens is well, you may not get a lot of signups when you first do something, but then a lot of like my audience after the fact. Well, yeah, once like, people boom, say, boom, 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 you know. So. Well, I noticed that too. Once you sell a couple or offer a couple of units and people are like, real, yeah, I've noticed two things. It's either like one or two will be like, oh man, it's good, or it's complete silence. If yeah. you see complete, complete silence, silence, you know is that not it's good. something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Don't tell nobody. Yeah. Like, shh. Yeah, so that's, that's always good. I always like when I see that. I, I've seen other things come out in the past with bigger names, and I've, I've been, like, to read, and I'm like, uh-oh. This must not have been, <laughs> must not have yeah. been too good. <laughs> no, nah, everything, every, everything's good. I had a, I have students and stuff that'll send me like I had one send me something that made me laugh. It's like, you know, when students or you know people or clients send me stuff, it makes me laugh. I'm just like they know me better than most people. It's like uh, someone says, "How do you sleep with yourself at night?" It's like I sleep in my underwear just in case someone wants to kiss my ass. <laughs> <laughs> So, but it's fun. It's fun. But I made a see. vital mistake last night. Speaking of sleeping in, in, in the <laughs> I, I don't like, know if I want to ask. It's starting to get cold, and I was like, I. It's just habit now. Like, I'll turn on the air air conditioning, 
Like, I woke up this morning and my little guy's like, oh, dad, <laughs> come on. I'm like, really? Feels What's good funny is I sleep with a fan on and I sleep with the AC on. And my son, he's, for most people don't know, he's half Filipino. And he's gotten to the point now that we've been over here for so long. He's been over for three years. So he can't sleep with an AC now. He used to love sleeping with AC. Now he'll get up and go out and sleep on the floor because it's too cold with the AC. So... Wow, he's that's, gotten used to it. I'm like, not me. Mm -mm. That's a that's a gangster. My, I'm thinking, would my son go out and sleep on the floor? I don't know, man. That's some gangster stuff. He sleeps on he sleeps on the floor and shit my, like my that. My guy's like trying to kick me out of the bed, like trying to sprawl. I'm like, dude, this is my temper, Pete. <laughs> go sit down, yeah, dude. I have I have my office has a bedroom, you know, bed in it, and then my uh, my main bedroom has obviously a bedroom in. It. If I'm working too much, like today, I've had. I, you know, I, I started doing something you advised me. You're talking about um, instead of doing hour long phone calls, you said do 15 minute phone calls. Yeah, a little burst. Yeah. And I did that and yeah, I started boom, boom, boom. I was like, what the hell? Everybody's but, got um, 10, 15, 20 bucks. And then yeah. that, that's a way to weed them out. Like, yeah. To see what their problem is, see how you can help them and see if they still got money. If you to, can, on see the if you can them. help them too. So, exactly. Um, yeah, bro. I did send a client. There's supposed to be a client call. People make fun of me all the me. time, though. I'm like, well, shit, my phone's ringing. No, you you had <laughs> asked me, and I said, no, I don't do that. And that's why I went, let me go to, let me go check it out. And I checked it out, and I was like, hmm, let me it's try this. Very helpful. And within like within 48 hours, I had probably three or four signups. Yesterday, I mean, I have hour signups. 15. Yesterday was 15 calls. Today was like 12. So um, very effective. Very busy, helpful. So. That's a good tip for people wanting to get started in it. Um, well, I think see. it weeds them out too. And and if you notice, it's a better ratio, right? It's helpful, yep. don't you think? I like it. It's a lot better. And it helps me know, you know, for instance, how serious they are or not. Um, for those people that may or may not know, we got SEO Mastery Summit this week too. Um, it's pre-recorded I and mean, it's a free event. And then I will be there. And then some of the guys, I believe from NFG will be speaking. Um, I forget the names, um, but I'll definitely be on, which is my time tomorrow. So Wednesday, Wednesday morning, I'll be speaking on Google, my business SEO, which is just how to reverse engineer and ethically steal your competition's traffic. That's yeah. a, that sounds reminiscent of a, of a title I've heard. I see that, <laughs> that, you know, that dude that runs the YouTube ad. Yeah. You know, you know, what I'm oh, talking I know. About? I know yeah, exactly. Alex, you're whatever. About. Yeah. The skinny no. dude. I like, I like, he's got a good pitch, man. He's, he's good. I've watched some of his, uh, the other one we listen to a lot. Boom. Yeah. I like his stuff too. Yeah. I read, I read his stuff and implement it. Like it's the Talk Bible. about curating all the best information. Yeah. Right. That is none of that stuff is his. Oh, I know. You know I have, I mean? uh, but he was able to package it and sell it. He, all those other dudes didn't make forty million on it, though, did they? <laughs> yeah. And what's his one of his main one of his main mentors that I talked I've talked to? He told me he said, you know, a lot of people can bitch and whine and say Russell stole this or Russell did this and Russell did that. Well, the difference between Russell ethically stealing or doing whatever you want to call it. Um, and these other guys is Russell was able to implement. That's they the suck at implementation. This person is good at implementation. Yeah, I wouldn't say you know. that. I, mean, I wouldn't say that, but yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I know people. I know, I, yeah, I know people would be like, you know, you took this from me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like, but he's excellent when it comes to implementing. And he takes an idea that maybe someone has and they just didn't implement it. You know, is it his problem because you imp they implemented it before you? Really? You know, just because you're lazy doesn't mean he has to be lazy. You know? Yeah, I like his, I like a lot of that stuff. But, and then I like how he'll shout them. And uh, within his, like, he's got a couple, like, there's one that he gave on his earlier books. I didn't really mm -hmm. like the traffic one, but the other stuff like the doctor. Yeah, I just got the I just got the traffic one. The biggest takeaway I think for the traffic one is who's your dream one hundred. Oh yeah, yeah, and I think he grabbed that. Yeah, those are pretty slick. 
I like the um the web uh the webinar 2.0 the guy who created mm-hmm. that like he talked about that and I went looking like oh let's go find this and that stuff in there is yeah. Have you ever have you ever read? It's by um, I think his name is Ken Mass Mind Control. That's Frank Kern. Yeah. Have yeah. you read it? Of course. Well, I had right. the old training 2.0. I went through. Yeah, it. yeah I, I really like this. I have all of it. I had someone say, "Man, you're doing this da, 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 just to a T." I'm like, "Who's Frank Kern?" I said, "Is this the guy that I see doing commercials?" I've never read his shit. But then I started reading it and I said, well, it sounds a lot like it. And then I found, you know, well, Russell Brunson, a lot of the ideas Russell has and stuff, kind of like the same idea. So, well, you, you know, you see, I mean, it, dude, if I see these guys winning over here, I mean, maybe not the same concepts, but how they're marketing and how they're pitching. Mm-hmm. I mean, how do you apply these guys are winning. Yes. How do you apply it in SEO? You can hate them all you want, but how, yeah, are like, how do I? Right. Yep, you know, if you stick to just if you stick to just SEO people, you it's know, a boring you're niche. Not, yeah, I think so like there are, you give there are a lot of there. people that hate on quote unquote Neil Patel, but he's a damn good marketer. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, I mean, the, everybody knows um, his name. I think that's a big, big, big piece of it. So, see. yeah, enough I had a, I had someone ask me this today. Maybe while well, I'm looking through these questions, you'll have an idea they have a site it's on page one of we with weebly bottom of page one top of page two and they want to switch it from weebly to wordpress would your advice be to leave it on weebly or would it be to switch it to wordpress because i know you're also not really a wordpress person so you're a better person in my opinion to ask that sort of thing so wait are they already winning they're not getting too many leads. They're at the bottom of page one organically, not in the maps. Where are they at on maps? Nowhere. Not to be found. Well, bottom of page one tells me they're almost there. Yeah. And that's what I was trying to tell them. I said, for me, why would you want to change something I would if never change you're it. already ranking? That's what, That's what I was leaning towards was I was trying to figure out the pieces was bottom of page one tells me he's, you know, or she, yeah. they're pretty close, man. Like you're, yeah. you're just, a lot of people just can't sit on their hands long enough to win. You know, yeah, true. like you're right there, dude, you have them. You're so close. Obviously Google likes you. You're doing good. We do that a lot with rank and rent. Win. A lot of people in rank and rent, they'll come to me. They want to switch it from snaps or Weebly. To WordPress because they know that's what I usually advise. But I tell them say, well, I need to see the site first, and B, where are you at, and are you getting leads? If you're getting leads, why are you going to switch? It? Does it make sense to me? So, got to and why? Add on. <clears throat> when optimizing GMB services, is it worth spinning the description from the website, or should it be the same? I I I personally do identical. I think it's that's the same thing I do. It's part of trust. And like, I'm, I'm watching it too. And, and I'm, I'm noticing a lot there. Sometimes they just don't like, um, man, sometimes some listings dude, no matter what you do. And I just can't get them to push. Yeah. Um, it's just crazy. Um, I think some niches, I think big importance has to do with how many people you're competing with. Like if there's 10 people on the board and you come in, whew, it's such an uphill battle. Uh, so no, it, it, I guess to answer that question, exactly what you said, William. Yeah. I'm going to go with that. I, I always just mirror. Exactly. Yeah. I want it it's to be the same thing I do. Cause that's what you say. Uh, it's mirroring it. Um, yeah, it's the same, echoing. similar thing. I'm Side echoing. Yeah. Similar so, thing. It's uh you want your GMB to be mirroring your website, not necessarily so, opposite way. You know? Another tip that I think is very effective for GMB movement, which nobody talks about is premium citation listings. Um, all day. Not your, not your cheesy ones. Like you not your Yelps, yeah. not your other structured type citations, but you know, super pages paid, um, yeah. better business bureau paid. Um, yeah. These types of listings paid make a, a, a big difference. Big I, like difference. I was doing a lot of looking at some of these harder, niches and i kept seeing the same thing over and over and i'm like i mean it didn't take much i mean i'm like ding 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 ding. oh wait these guys are paying for citations okay let's pay for citations uh, (laughs) um maps the uh and not android but iphone maps and getting on them as well let's see 
Oh, Matt. So let's see what other questions we got coming in here. So I got quite a few just in the group. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, it is 8 a.m. You know, you're probably like fresh. What, what time is it again? Uh, I'm, wired, I'm wired. 8.20 yeah. with a damn energy drink and vitamins in my ass. What time do you go to bed? Lately? Yeah. Midnight. Midnight, 1 o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. I'm back, I'm back up at it. <laughs> well, last week I had a rough – I was intaking a lot of clients. I had some dentists and some stuff, dude. I was – it was like go to bed for three hours, wake up, and I was coming back, and I'm like, dude. That's why I'm like, I don't ever know whenever you're asleep because I'm like, usually on Wednesdays, right after you do hours, three hours later, you're on with Craig Campbell. And I was like, then by the time I'm waking up, you might even be doing another one on your own channel. Yeah, I'm going to try. Yeah, it's yeah. it's it becomes very chaotic sometimes because um, I try to put like the past two days I had to rest and relax, but I'll be back. I'm back. <laughs> yeah. Daniel Kemp, do you have a premier list of citations? A premier list. Do you have a spreadsheet or something you want to give away or sell or, eh, you know, these people's. I don't know something like that, um, you know, because those were those were something that I personally had to do. Like that's I'm I'm giving I'm, I gave I, I gave it to you you know the pr premium. One of the things I think you mentioned before. I mean, one of the things you can mention is you just when you're looking at the Google My Business listing at the very bottom of the listing, it also will indicate what backlinks that they have or where they're also featured at, and then you can find out what backlinks that that website has, and then you literally go to each one of those backlinks and see, is it a paid listing or a non-paid listing and then take the paid listings and get them. And, I, speaking know. of paid listings and, and I saw something else very, very interesting the other day um, with, within the locksmith space, what these guys were doing, cause I work with a guy in Florida has a lot of listings and I'm looking, I'm, I'm trying to figure out like customize a strategy cause we're getting slower movement, but mm -hmm. anyway, I'm looking at the competition. What I was noticing is a guy will have multiple sets of citations, but they're not pointing the citations to the site. They're pointing citations to other citations. And I thought to myself, yeah. boy, that's quite interesting. Like you're almost like press release stacking or, or whatever else you would do or tiered link building. They're tearing out citations. I thought it was really weird. I was like, yeah. I was I like think, all right, let's go to Fiverr. Get yeah, a I, think, $5 service. I think there's a guy I know that does it. Um, I'm not sure in our group on when we do our GMB masterclass, I have a couple other guys, um, Mike Merlino and Brenton Bowser. They're pretty good when it comes to like CTR and GMB stuff. But I think he has mentioned that to me before. I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'm pretty, pretty, pretty sure he has. Well, yeah, because some of them, and then too, like let's take Easy Local for instance. Easy Local will allow you to have a listing in each little. They have a directory of thousands, and then they'll have a listing on each page in every one times yeah. five pointing at each other. And I'm thinking to myself, like, dude, this dude just created four thousand citations. So I'm like, yeah, wow, this is quite intense. Insane. Yeah, it's kind of insane. I don't know if that's moving it, but I noticed that guys are doing it. Well, if someone's in the top three, there might be a reason why they're in the top yeah. three. Maybe that has to do with it. I mean, that's why I was just talking to someone today. I said, you don't necessarily have to do whatever, you know, all these other things, all the SEOs will tell you to do or standard SEO will tell you to do. If you go to the Google three pack, take the top five people, find out what the hell they're doing and do what they're doing. There's a reason they're there usually. Bambi, is there any advantage listing all products like 700 of them on a GMB? 700 is a lot. I mean, I think that that seems like quite a bit. And, and to me, it almost has to be a law of diminishing return, right? I think yeah. that your, your, your most profitable or most notable, the ones that actually generate traffic or ones that have high volume, they, they deserve to be in the list. But if yeah. you have the money, the time, and the budget in order to put 700, I mean, I can't see it hurting, but I would take care of the stuff that actually is money wise. And there's actually people looking for it. like what's profitable and where's their traffic. That's what I would the only do. way I would say if you got seven, I mean, we'll take, let's say if you got 20 pages, we make all those services. If you got 20 services, we'll do, if you will, 20 products to reflect or mirror those services. But if you got 700, I'd get me a damn VA to do that shit. Yeah, that's, <laughs> because that's a lot of work. 
Don't even ask my VA because I'll t no, absolutely <laughs> not. <clears throat> yeah, you know, at a hundred an hour, if you want me to load them in there, I'll do it for you. Ew, it's a lot. <laughs> it's just a lot. It'd be like thirty hours. <laughs> it's a lot of work, man. Especially if you pack it in there with as many words you can put. You can actually put, I think it's what, 750 or 1,000 words? I you believe can put it's a lot a of thousand. characters in there. Usually I could get that first paragraph under the H1. So that's yeah. what you do. Let's see. Jeff Veal. He struggles to do a live five in five minutes daily. Yeah. Take lessons from Chris. That's all I know. Chris is one of the people that pushed me to start doing more and more lives. Um, and really develop my channel per se because I've been watching Chris for a while and just see different things that he does and topics he covers and how he does it. I mean, he's just. I think that's a news channel. Yeah. You are a PR agency. And then I need yeah. to be able to curate relationships with the people that care about me. I have to give them time. The most precious thing is your time. So if I could give that to the people that help me, like these are the people that could potentially be customers, these are, you know, yeah. clients. If I have a training program, you know, they might, hey, that might be interesting. So I think they're worth your time. I think it's worth it. And I think you agree. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I, mean, I, I, have, I have never, quote unquote, I never really looked at YouTube as a source of getting clients until I really started putting it up there and, you know, getting it to the top of the listings and going after different keywords. Um, some keywords, like I remember when we did the whole CTR thing, Holly said, you know, good going, boys. The whole thing has no volume, which is true. That has no real search volume. Unless you're see, you know, SEO, then you're looking for CTR. But let's say, you know, it's how to now. get more business leads or whatever, then you know, you know, different different keywords are really good and could get you, you know, leads and clients. And I pick up clients off of YouTube. But did you see um, the volume now on YouTube when you throw it into a tool? Oh yeah. We I love it. We we single handedly inflated the <laughs> the egos for that keyword. Like anybody trying to go against us for those keywords, like you know, like uh, Holly, you, yeah. me, like any of them, yeah. it's gonna be really hard to pop in there. Or you might get in there and get a quick win. And I'll notice, like I'll see ladies or gentlemen take a screenshot, and I'll, it'll be like nineteen hours ago. Like yeah. eh, that's cool, but let's see in a week, yeah. you know, because <laughs> I think yeah, that's I literally in my YouTube little mini training I'm doing tonight in U.S. time. I'm actually taking screenshots because what happened, one of them goes, I'm in the top. <coughs> I'm dominating the top of all these. Well, that's nice to say that. It's fun, though. Right? But it's and it's fun. Healthy. Yeah. But I literally have people that will send me screenshots from all over the world and be like, no, this person's up top. This person's up top. This yeah. person's up top. The and nerd, it's like, the nerd yeah. Olympics, you know, like, like I'm dominating. No, I'm dominating. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's fun. I, I like it. I always I always cheer people yeah. on, too. Like, I try not to. Like you're smoking me, awesome, yeah. dude. You're cool, man. I hope. I think there's That's enough for to tell them to me. Yeah. Whenever you're beating me, and I remember Craig, Craig, when we did the CTR, he's like, "Is this getting personal?" And I was like, "No, yes. Craig. He's like, it's not personal, brother. It's not personal at all." He's like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> Craig's the man, dude. He's like, "No, dude, nothing personal. I love it because if you're beating me, I go, what are you doing?" that I'm not doing. And I want to look at your shit. This is what I try to tell you. I want to look at your stuff and go, why is Chris, why is whoever above me? And I want to go, okay, for instance, it could be whatever it could be. It could be the title. It could be, do you got a pin, a pin, an icon, an emoji? Do you, are you saying like your stuff where you go, Hey, this is Chris Palmer. We're going to be talking about, bah, bah, bah. we're going to be talking about, bah, bah, bah. we're going to be talking about, bah, bah, bah. and then they, you know, the uh, closed captions and different stuff like that. You pick up little things like, why does this person beat me? It's the same thing with GMB. With GMB, it's like, why is this person beat me? Let me try and tweak things. I noticed a lot of people have been uptaking our little tips too. Like I wasn't filling out all of the timestamps, but the first yeah. one where I could put the keyword in the zero colon zero zero and then put the whole title in there. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like that. I see nice another thing I'm doing that actually. I was quite interested. Yeah. Nice. Another thing I've been doing with the timestamps, for instance, um, instead of <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll go because I have a template that I follow. And then what I do is I go, for instance, if I'm on covering a specific topic, I go to Google 
Google search that question and then take the questions that other people ask and use those as timestamps. Mm, cool. That's another thing I've been doing. So, so yeah, I see, see you wearing the, are, are, you're, uh, do you, do you, uh, never mind. I, maybe that's not a, that's not an out topic. Never mind. Because <laughs> I see that uh, I, I, a few things have come up. I think um, I was just curious about the um, preference of music. <laughs> I listen to because I've had people ask me. I'll, I mean, I mean, I listen to everything from classical music to Marilyn Manson to hip hop, everything. I it just depends on my mood. I um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Manson was uh, well, I was young as a child. I used to really like Manson stuff, the earlier yeah. stuff. I liked it a lot. Yeah, I listened to all that. One of the ones I really like that I listen to. Um, as of late, mainly because I like the movies, John Wick movie, you know, John Wick's uh, soundtrack and, and killing strangers and stuff Well, and I was like curious, that. the reason why I was really asking was like, you know, what kind of stuff is on the radio in the Philippines was really was I like, is oh, there like they, a radio what's channel? Weird, no, yeah. what's weird about it over here, which is annoying for me because I'm like, I like hip hop and you know, stuff like that, right. and like Manson and rock Techno. and they listen. Yeah. They listen to country most really? of the time. Country. Wow. Like, Free home, my <laughs> All that Maybe they'll listen to that. And I'm like, I go down there and I was like, what the fuck are y'all listening to? <laughs> and my boys would be listening to that or they'll be listening to some love music or whatever. And I'm like, but that's, dude, that's get that shit out of here. I like techno for work. And then for yeah. the car, I like like hip hop, I guess, you know. Yeah, once we get the studio, the office is almost done. Got about another month. And then I told them, said, we're going to have speakers on it. Ain't going to be none of this love shit and country <laughs> music. It's going to be, you know, some hip hop. And because we're going to have, well, I'll have a studio slash a green room too. So, because we're going to be making, making some stuff up. So, yeah, that's funny you say that. I'm building a, um, well, it's already built. I built a stage. Yep, same and thing. The green room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing. Cool. I'm waiting on I, I haven't been able to justify the jam board. Do you ever yep. see Grant Cardone? Yep. No, he's got the board. I I really want I one, it. but I I just can't justify five grand. That's yeah, a lot to You just know what drop. I mean? I'm like, five G's. I'm like, I don't know, dude. I think I mean I could get it, but it's like, uh, five grand for a board? <laughs> it's kind of wild, man. Yeah. You know, like my well, first I, car was like 400 bucks. <laughs> yeah, I remember those days. We yeah. had, uh, so we have the, all, right now everybody's downstairs. We build an office as long as the house. It's probably a thousand something square feet. And then the back of it's going to have the studio slash green room to make videos and production type stuff. So, cause we're going to start doing a lot of that sort of thing, but, and I got a videographer I just hired. So the videographer will be coming in and doing stuff. We're going to be making a lot of videos, kind of trying to do like Russell Brunson does and a lot of them, um, some stuff like that. And then people always uh, want the art inside the videos. For me, it doesn't fit with the flow. I've, I've just, I don't really it. care for the art in like when I'm doing my classes and when I'm doing my teaching, I've just found most people actually, I have some people either, they either love you or they hate you and there's no in between. And the ones that love me are the, the ones that come to the courses and stuff are the ones that they'll sit there and be like, I don't like the clean cut courses. I don't like the slideshows. I don't like that stuff. What I rather and why they will come to the course and they like it is because they get to see how I think when I'm looking at something, when I'm looking at it, what am I looking for? How do I look at it? What am I looking to implement instead of just this clean cookie cutter slideshow, which is what most, if you will, course creators do. Mm -hmm. um, and nothing against that. It works for them, but my audience just does not like that. They definitely yeah. want to see the over the shoulder. I like to start yeah. with that because all the premier providers, that's what they'll do. Like if you get a Brian Dean course or whatever, it starts with the show with the music and then it'll be slideshow. So yeah, I think first time I ever course, first right? time I ever had to do that was with Mads. Mads sent me the slideshow um, oh, yeah. template. I told and he him, said, no, no, no. I <laughs> he's said, like, no, you, you've got to do it. And I was like, oh, I want to do it. I don't like doing this. I just but, submitted the uh, training. I said, I can't do it, bro. <laughs> I can't do it. It's just not me. <laughs> yeah. Well, you so, had to. Plus, so I, I had to go back and like redo everything. And I'm like, dude, 
I, I, mm. I do this stuff to, to be helpful at, at like, I'll have an idea and then I'll just make it, you know, like that's it. Yeah. I don't really. Yeah, it was the one I'm doing is um, that presentations on reverse engineering your competition. It's just, you know, how to say, what are they doing and how do I do it? Hi, Parench Mathur. I don't know if that's, I don't, sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but hello. Yeah, I see a and lot of these in here. Nicole, what's up, Jedi's? <laughs> um, so what do you think about uh, string codes? Do you utilize string codes more notably, maybe city or town string codes? Well, what do you mean by string codes? Example. So if we're able to grab, say, a URL that mm -hmm. is containing the keywords with the brand name that's going to pop a knowledge mm -hmm. panel, Mm -hmm. uh, I'll apply the machine readable ID to it mm -hmm. and then including other cities of where I want to extend to. Right. So okay. the yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm like, an, I tell people all the time, I'm a non-technical, you know, that goes <sighs> over my head. It's like, for me, it's like break it down to idiot terms. Yeah. No, that's, you know, I, so. I, I found, you know, I, I've, I had to, if, like some of the earlier stuff that I was doing, it was, that I don't want to use the word idiot, but um, I had to teach it a different way because I think to me it seems easy, but then other people. Yeah, are like, it's oh, like for this. instance, the way I try to the way I try to think about it is can, how can I use terms and explain if you well string code that anybody can understand? Because if you go to a business center and say, "Hey, do you just use string code?" They'll be like, "Hmm," or parameters. <laughs> Yeah, like, that. you know, altering the parameters so we can get in the keywords, the brand name, the machine ID, and then the city code. So I yeah. built, I'm having the dude, I'm having him build it right now to where it pulls out all the city codes that say we want to expand. Mm -hmm. And then also where we can pull in the image codes real easy because that's a pain. So I want to have an extension that does all the audit stuff because I notice everybody's paying. Like people yeah. are charging now. I'm like, okay, yeah. I told the dude, copy these. And then here's what I want you to add. Right. So I wanted to do everything that these guys are doing, but they're yep. charging and then add this and we're going to do it for free. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Just give it away. Yeah. Nice. Cause I, to me, it's like, and then like you can plug in your website and stuff, you know, that'd be exciting. Once that comes out, would be great. Yeah. Let's see here. Got some questions. Adam Poland, do you point citations at the GMB or the website? Um, Website. And and very particular location pages, Adam, um, right. for for sure. You know, I got a lot. Actually, I I made a few videos. I got a lot of guff for that. Uh, and then I I think it's altering within the industry. I hear a lot of weller known people are like, mass citations are are not the way to go, and definitely not to internal pages. But um, even citation citation providers will say, oh, it has to go to the homepage. Like I had to literally find a dude make videos like three videos like okay here's what i want you to do here's how it needs to be done and like dude i had a long time that was trouble man but i sent them to internal pages at scale if you take mm -hmm. a look at a lot of industries and you take a look at the top performers a lot of their top anchor text that's coming into the site is yeah, naked generic branded like it's all citation and directory if you take a look yeah. at the top performers in gmb that's how they're winning and in the harder spaces they're winning off of premium citations and then they're getting, when you look at traffic, it's overwhelming the amount of brand traffic that they're getting. It's overwhelming compared to the top performer in organic. Go look at the top performer in GMB. Who's winning and how and why? It's because of branded search click and those premium citations. Those two elements there, they work, man. <laughs> yeah, you went over, um, I believe it was your three-month strategy in one of your videos regarding CTR. One of the first things you do month one is basically your branding spike it yeah, all day. And, uh, well, spike that you're... and then month two is when you get into keyword and branding yeah. people are in a hurry though like <clears throat> i even clients like that's why I like a lot of the gmb straight clients i'll take a flat fee but i won't whack you month by month because i know it's gonna take it's gonna take me 90 days if you're sitting on page three in maps mm -hmm. It's going to take me, if you're on page three, it's going to take at least three months. Because I can't just, okay, the top performer has 240 clicks. You are getting 14 for branded. Yeah. I yeah. can't just jump that in one day. It's, you can? Uh, you sure? You, you can. Drop one in. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't do that. I don't do that. I, I know. I'm teasing Yeah, I you. don't. You have people all the time that ask that stupid shit. It's like, why not? You 
I'm alone. Yeah, I'm only I guess supposed some... to send two keywords. I'm only supposed to put two new clicks. So that's not the way CTR works, buddy. So. Yeah, no. I and plus, while you're building out the, because there's a reason why you're on page three. It's because <laughs> you didn't have all the foundational elements to begin with. So I got to fix exactly. that while I'm spiking up your all the stuff. Bingo. That takes too much time there's too work much on the foundational stuff that's what I tell people all the time like with our month <laughs> one month one is foundation all day yep yeah, you're not so. going to get anything i i'm very and i'm sure you deal with way more clients than me i'm very like you're not there nothing's you're going to see some increase stuff is going to happen but it's not going to be what you want month one like no mm -hmm. way especially because most people are like i've tried other agencies it's not helping i'm like month no. one month one is they want oh where's all the backlinks and the citations and it's like, well, first off, you got you, you, your site's not secure. You don't have this. You don't have that. You don't even have a damn GMB embed on your home page, your contact page. I mean, let's just get the basic stuff. Yeah. So, Coral, or your, links, yeah, yeah, or a million links coming in, but no internal linking structure. I'm yeah, like, I can see I'm, that I'm always all like, all day long. thank you, sir. <laughs> I just yeah. start adding in everything and. Sorry, to Carl cut you York. Out. No, it's okay. Um, what's the hardest businesses you have ranked? Well, I mean, it, I think hard is um, it has to, you know, in my personal opinion, I've had hard ones where people didn't think they were hard, but where people think they're hard, you know, dentists, lawyers, um, law, DUI law, divorce law. Um, locksmiths is one of the hardest that I've had because these guys are willing to do anything. Yep. Um, I had a lot of trouble in Florida doing a, a locksmith because there's so many locations. And that's another one too, is where you have a, a, a brand business owner that is in a central city, right? But they have three locations in the same city. Very, this is, this is, this is a tricky, tricky thing, man. Where would you, what would you do in that situation? Let's say you're in, um, Los Angeles, but Los mm -hmm. Angeles is a very large city. They have three locations with three mm -hmm. varying names. How would you go about doing that? Would you just pick so, one? What's funny is I just signed up a new guy today. Um, he does TV installation. Okay. He is in Los Angeles. He has two GMBs. One GMB is already green and a little bit of yellow. It's Towards Los Angeles, right here, you can tell he's further away from his GMB, and it's yellow and red. And towards this, where his GMB is, that's green, and he has another GMB. So step one, I'm actually building a new website, <clears throat> not a new website, but building it out even more. So that's, that's for that one. That's for that one website, and then we're going to take and for the other GMB. What I'm suggesting as well is either create a location page or a separate. I'm drinking water too, believe it or not. Um, then I'll take either a separate website with that GMB or I'll do a separate location page for that GMB on the site. Depends on, we'll see which one wins. And if I don't think it's going to win fast enough, I'll do the separate website. Oh, you'll you know? separate them all together. Mm -hmm. Not subdomain. What, nope. Hmm, interesting. It's what I'll wind up doing. I'll do separate domain name, separate website, separate citations, separate backlinks, separate press releases, separate everything. So I take this instead of it just being, let's say, a twenty mile radius. I'll dominate a forty mile radius. Um, we did that with a moving company down in South Florida. That's how we got the forty mile radius. I love moving. Moving companies moving. are. They pay good my, money. My favorites. They pay good money, and they're. Um, I, I enjoy that niche. A lot. I'm building out one right good now niche. in the Bronx in New York City. So. And the type of guy that has um, I like the type the kind of guy who has a moving company. Like, they're they're usually like I don't know, you know they're, I don't know yeah, they're go getters for the most part yeah, and they, got, they got the money to put it. Yeah. <laughs> like you guys are willing like. He's like, I got six jobs a day and like they're moving like fridges and stuff. I'm like, man, you guys got heart, dude. <laughs> You're yeah. spending all day moving stuff. That's a lot of work, dude. I like I like clicking this thing here, you know. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I got to think about this, you know. <laughs> it's a lot of this power, you know. <laughs> yeah. I feel like my <laughs> Jeff Veal, what to do when postcard does not show up. Man, you're on the way, Jeff. 
you got to keep doing that until you get the video verification. Ding, ding, ding. Big secret right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, keep, keep applying to get it. And then usually on the fourth or fifth time, it'll trigger for a, uh, a video conference. It'll be in your options. So what are so you cool. doing when it says the only type of verification is available is video and then you go to try to do video and it says it's not available? Oh, then you got to go down to the far left corner and mm-hmm. get somebody on. Um, you know, you want to message them, get something within because there's a, a system. So here, here's what I would do. So because it'll log it. Right. So each customer is in the log. So you need it to be logged that you've reached out before. So when you get the person from the ad department, they'll check for you. So make sure you log your problem and your concern inside the, uh, you know, reach out options or whatever, like the little box menu will pop up, get your complaint in there. So that way it's registered in their system. Then go over to ads because that way you'll get somebody on the phone no matter what, and then start talking to them. And then they'll, they'll tr- try to give you a rigmarole, but they can get you on the phone with somebody that can help you and say, I've already, I've gone through this. I've tried everything. I've even sent like requests. They'll check. Oh, you did. Bam. So that's what I would do. Um, man, Tom, you want to spend some money right and then I'll do it. <laughs> giving you a lot of nuggies here. I'm trying. What would you say? Adam says, what would you say is the optimum link for a web page meta description? So I think that that depends upon um, intent. So usually because Google's going to change it, um, I think meta description is depending upon the types of intent um, of the user because Google's going to change it depending upon how the person is searching. Like if you search for, um, uh, what's his name? Adam Poland contact page. Adam Poland, that's it. Adam Poland marketing. Adam, right? Depending upon the intent, It'll show the same stuff, but the meta descriptions will be different. So based on the intent is is how long it needs to be. So how many different, you can put as much as you want in there. There's no optimal, right? So what I would do and what I recommend always is let Google decide. Keep it clean and then just make sure on your homepage, make sure that there's a lot of stuff that you're talking to multiple different people. What I mean by this is like all, all the different keywords and variations that you can get into the homepage that are talking about your brand, get them on that homepage. So that way you're showing up for everything. I would just keep it clear and then fill out your homepage completely. It's kind of what we're doing. We're doing one right now for a gutter site in which they do gutter cleaning, but then we go, okay, gutter cleaning. What are some other things people are searching for? Cause Google tells you, this is what people are searching for. And then we take the, that content, right? Content and then take that content and make pages out of it as like tips and guides. But then we take snippets of that content, put it on the homepage as well. So be how much does gutter cleaning cost is gutter cleaning worth it? Stuff Mm. like that. So, cause it's all different variations. Yeah. It's all. Yeah. Yeah. As much as you can, man. I I try to fill those out. The homepage is key to being a talking about the brand though. Like don't veer away from the brand Uh, because you don't want to start showing up. This is another thing. How do you handle this? Cause Mm. I see this a lot and I kind of know the answer, but I'm curious of what you're going to say. So you issue, um, you have your homepage, you optimize everything, you build out all your location pages and Mm location-based service pages, right? So that Mm -hmm. way we bulk out the site. But Mm -hmm. for all of the terms, even in the other cities, the homepage keeps showing up. How do you get the homepage not to show up? How do you get the location landers to show up? What do you do in this case? Or the person's like, man, the homepage. My my location landers, when we do location pages, Uh they show up within seven days, page one. So, okay. I mean, and so you've and never ran into this work. problem? Nope. Ever? Never. Not once. I've had people order, and I'm being, I'm being, I'm just being truthful. I have people that sit here and order location pages, and they'll order 20 of them. And then within seven days or less, we'll have at least night, you know, we'll have at least half or more already on page one, top 10. Are these <clears throat> generally newer build outs? Um, the location pages are, yes. No, but I mean like the sites are less than three nope. years old. No. Nope. Oh, some of them are one, two years old. I'm some very of them surprised. are six years old. This is so common. Um, I'm very, I'm intrigued that you're not ever running into that problem. And the only thing we're doing, if you look at our location pages, we take all the services, mm-hmm. put all the services on there. I'm not spinning the content, not changing the content. The only thing we change is the H1. 
in the H2s, 3s, et cetera, will put in, if you will, the service plus the specific city or neighborhood, and then put all the bottom, all the things to do, places to go, um, neighborhoods, link them as over the GMAPs, all that stuff. Now we use our plugin, but we also still do manual for people when they want it. But generally within, I have students and people that will drop it in our group and drop screenshots and say, ordered them, you know, 10 days ago and already page one. I saw somebody with a tool. Do you clutter, do you clutter the page or do you weave it into the content as far as things to do? Uh, places that are nearby, nearby streets. Do you weave it into content or is nope. it just cluttered? Just cluttered. I saw somebody pitching something. Uh, just cluttered. You just clutter it? Mm -hmm. The audacity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I remember, I remember you I told me before, you said, you just different. do it dirty. And I'm like, yep, yeah, I you're, just do yeah. it dirty. Dude, hey, it, I'm not saying that it doesn't work. It's just, I'm, yeah. I'm just... I don't know. See, it seems like every, maybe I'm just not getting lucky enough. It seems like for me, like even like the simplest stuff, like let's say I have a pest control guy. Like even when I have modifications, like I don't do any of that stuff. I'll tell them. And it like, it takes like five days before like, okay, the web designer guy does it. And then the manager is like, okay, yeah, this is good. And then the owner's like, nah, that's no good. It's, it's like, it's like such a process and everything has to be so clean. Um, I never get anybody that's just like, eh, just go. Every, ahead. Everybody, whatever, everybody, whatever everybody, want, everybody, everybody <laughs> I get, they're kind of like, cool, do whatever the hell you want. Yeah. As dude, long as I get the rankings. And yeah. then I have, you know, people that just, they just don't give a shit and they're just, you know, kind of do what you want. I mean, I could show you, you've seen it before. I never, well, I'm, I'm usually, I guess too, I won't. I don't like the design element because there's too there's too many hours that take place in fixing and, and clicking and, and there's it's just madness for me. I think there's too much time. So involved. This is a typical location page. Yeah, that looks like it's like this, location. right? All the services I still have the embed on there. So this so is these, dirty. Then you come all the way down here. Neighborhoods, these are all connected to G Maps. The weather. Top sites, top sites with interest, neighborhoods, and then map down here, of course, with an insertion. Mm -hmm. And then their G map, you know, G embed. Well, this doesn't look cluttered. No, like this, this, this stuff that I saw that these guys were doing, when I mm -hmm. say cluttered, it was just a mess. And yeah, I was all, like, all no, of this them is, look like that. Yeah. This is clean. There's nothing wrong with this. Yeah, that's what all of them look like when we do them. And if we had, we really wanted to, we'd take the service areas and then we drop down all the neighborhoods inside of it. But is this a client site? This is the one that I ranked within five weeks. No site, no content, nothing before we did it. Now he dominates the three pack. This is in St. Louis, 175,000 people. Can you scroll down to the bottom? Do you mind scrolling to the bottom briefly? Location page? Yeah. No, I'm just, yeah, all the way to the very, very bottom. I'm just curious of something. You notice anything here? Yeah. <laughs> you know um, what that is, right? Yeah, for sure. But what I'm, what I'm, yeah, yeah, that's a smart move. Uh, wow, I'm really intrigued. And then if you scroll up into the body content, can I see inside the body content? Yeah. Uh, man, how come? Wow. So where's the link page? Where's the... Where are you funneling the power from? Or you're not going to give that up, are you? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'll talk about it off screen, but. Because um, you're, yeah. what I'm looking at is the internal linking is actually quite intriguing, to be honest with you. I, I'm notice, I'm, I'm baffled that you're not, you're not blasting in these, these, these things across. It's got to be in there somewhere. Oh, I like how you add that little fact section there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I like those. That's so content writer-ish. You know, when you get them and they give it to you, you know, and they're yeah. like, okay, fact one. I'm like, just write it into the content. And here's another one. Here's another one too. Cause you know about, this is what I learned from you. I learned this little trick from Chris. If, uh, I'll show some people some stuff like on this. I know Chris has went over this before, but. For example, we do the GMAP embed here. Everybody knows about that. And then another thing I know 
you know, Chris and me both say is take those same testimonials and make them into textual testimonials. But if you click on this person's name, it's well, it also hyper, the too. Yeah, hi, yeah, hyperlinks to their reviews, right? And then another thing I know Chris teaches in one of his videos that we also do is you click on this, this is hyperlinked to a PDF, which is all connected to their reviews, which was once again connected to their profile links, which is connected to the reviews. So, yeah, and each of, of those people, what I love about that too, and I, I didn't notice, did you take it right into the individualized person? Yes. Yeah, and then also too, well, there's one more section that you didn't add in is, you know how there's two different searches, right? There's one that's mm -hmm. within maps to take you to the review pop out, but the one in desktop allows you to do a search. Then you can do the searches based upon keyword. I like pulling yeah, those out. Too. I've seen that too. Especially mapping yeah. to the services that I do. For sure. I like, these are just little, these are like little tweaks. You know, when, you know, the difference between position uh, five and position like it's top three tweaks. are those tweaks. tweaks. Yeah, for sure. So I try to tell people if you, if you watch most SEOs or things I'll sit there and watch and I see that you've done or someone else does and I go, okay, let me add that into what I do. Um, and then it helps me improve what I'm doing. I just add it into my SOP. I don't go, let me take this person's entire SOP. It's, let me add it into what I'm doing and see if this helps. And then you see the needle move and you're like, okay, well, the only thing I did different was add this. So obviously it works. So and Don, me, huh? go ahead. Well, no. And I, I think that's a key piece is their tweaks. What I've noticed a lot of beginners will or novices will do is they'll see the S like us doing the yep. tweaks, the fun stuff. Cause that's what people want to learn, but they think that that's the bulk of the SEO. They, they're missing the boring, like, okay, well, I optimize the heading tags. I optimize the, you know what I mean? I have enough pages. I got yeah, the they think of the right. hacks. They think the hacks is what, are the SEO. you will, are the SEO. No, 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 no. But on, oh, yeah. on, I, I would really appreciate if you would follow me. And I'm Chris Palmer SEO on YouTube. Just Chris Don, Palmer. SEO. Don Frank. Um, sorry, I didn't catch the speaker's name. I want to follow him. Which speaker? I know I'm speaking at the conference later today. There's a bunch of different speakers. If you go to Mads at this SEO Mastery Summit, if you go to SEO Mastery Summit, on, you know dot com, you'll see you can register for free, and then you can watch. They have tens. You know, we have forty something speakers all together. Um, you have uh, Bruno Oliver. We got Jason Bernard. Um, he's actually going to be on one of my shows later next week. Chris Labet, he was actually on, I think, earlier today from Advanced Schema Markup. And um, you got a bunch of them in there. So just go in there and register. And uh, there's always going to be something for somebody, you know. So I know Chris has spoken at this event before. I believe Craig has. You got Phil Drinkwater. He's going to be there, a bunch of them. So. Hey, I, I hate to I hate to cut this short, but at nine I have to talk to a gentleman. It's actually a YouTube guy. Um, That's cool. From nine to ten, I have I have some appointments lined up for this morning. But if, if there's cool. any other questions, let's bust them off at nine. Let's I got to rock. Yep, I don't like slideshows. I like the mentor pointing out exactly what he she does. Obviously, using OBS with face cam, just like Chris does. Perfect. Cool. Same thing. I started using OBS not too long ago. Adam, how do you embed a GMB link on your website? Um, so, well, I think that's an easy thing. So there's a couple ways. I think the easiest thing to do is just grab a, go to W3 schools or just type in the Google uh, embed code W3 schools. Mm -hmm. And then what it's going to give you, it's going to give you two. It'll give you three. It'll give you one with anchor text, one without anchor text, and then it'll show you how to do the hidden. It'll give you all three. So once you have those, you can take any link you want and put it in there. It could be a video. It could be a tweet. It could be William's site. It could be anything you want. It could be anything. <laughs> Chris Palmer, SEO. You want to make sure you follow Chris, okay, because Chris drops nuggets all the time um, on his show, and he does, you know, he does, what, two, three damn videos a day sometimes, but he does everything. Do yeah, you do everything from – GMB to, you know, backlinking to just standard SEO. Um, so oh, a little cool. bit of everything. There's all types of shit you can learn from Chris. So, and then you also have your own Facebook group too, 
let me see. Let me pull this up yeah. real quick so I can show everybody some of this stuff real quick. Chris Palmer. Chris Palmer, SEO, SEMSMM group. He's going to have to get off here pretty soon, but yeah, I like wanted, right to, show every, wanted to show everybody this, but you can. You can yeah, go it's ahead groups. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Chris Palmer SEO. 1.8. He goes in here. He goes in here every, you know, if you will, I believe once a week and he answers questions and yeah. so just drop stuff in there and he gives, you know, he tells you like in here, Chris is saying his really good book, you know, he mentions it, says, go get it. You know, Chris is always answering, doing questions and answers in here. So it's really cool. And Chris yes, drops man. a lot of, you know, information and we're trying to be on here once a week with them. Uh, next week you'll be in Poconos, but you're still doing a live, right? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I'm. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this next week because um, yeah. I'm going to be. I don't even know. I have to take a look at the internet situation. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Just let me know. Either way, but that'll I be play. that'd be super fresh. Go out on the boat with the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or up. You should awesome. see this place, dude. It's it's crazy, bro. I never yeah, I looked it up. As soon as you said Poconos, I was like, that sounds like you know. Some yeah. nice exotic place or something in these areas. Yeah. Pretty tight. It's pretty tight. I don't, you know, we splurge a little bit. Um, yeah. but hey, I gotta go. Blessings to you. All right. Thank you, William. Appreciate Thank you, guys. everybody. Thank, Thank you, so you much. Chris. And we will see y'all again maybe next week, if not next week, the following week. For sure, for sure. Right. This is forevermore, William. We're we're yes, sir. Is, all right, brother. I'll see you, man. All right, see you all soon. Right. Goodbye. Bye.